the next thing we're going to talk about is running commands in the script. If you watched my why even write scripts video, you saw I had a bunch of scripts that run commands. So uh, in those cases, the command, the script ran command because I wanted it to do the thing uh, that the command does. So in this case, we're going to just put a quick example in here. Say, for example, I wanted my script to just run ls for me and uh, display the output to the screen. So basically, I'm going to type, put the command I want it to run in there. And now when I run it, now when I run it, basically the output of that command runs as well. So here I have hello world, and then this is the output of ls. So um, that's uh, the basics of running a command if you want the command to do the thing it wants to do. So for example, one of the commands I showed you added some users. So I had the user add command in there. Um, another thing we might want to do is we might want to run a command uh, and save the, the output from that command into a variable. So in that case, we can give it a variable name, give it an equal, and then there's a special convention that if we put the commands inside backticks, backticks are the lazy line that looks kind of like a single quote, but on my keyboard it's over next to the one. Uh, if you put your command inside backticks, it will run uh, that command and save that output into the, into the variable. So now if we echo $ls output, Remember, for variables, when we assign, we don't put a dollar sign. When we use it, we put the dollar sign. Now, if we put put that, we can run the command again, and it does the same thing. We just put it inside a variable. So you know, we can put, you know, echo ls ls output output is, and then we have our our uh, output in that variable. So uh, that is two ways, the two most common ways I, I use uh, commands inside uh, a, a script. I do this all the time because most of the time, we're not going to do it right now, but most of the time we're going to want to get some cheap piece of data using some command and then we're going to want to use some of the more advanced shell features, uh, specifically looping, to loop through that, that command and also do some other stuff based on what is in that output. So this is a very simplistic example. Uh, for our first assignment for scripting, we are going to uh, use this. We wanted to use the date command to get the date. So if we type the date command, it tells us what the date is. So very simply, we're going to, for our homework, uh, for the homework.sa script, we're going to have a homework, uh, hello world string. We're going to set a variable to today. Now we'll set it to now. Now equals, and we will put a backtick. We'll put the date command, and we'll put another backtick. And now we're going to come down here and edit what we're printing. So we're going to print hello world string today is dollar date. Right, so now in theory it's going to print hello world and then it's going to print today is and whatever is in our date variable. And since we're being good conscientious coders, we're going to go ahead and update our, our uh, version control to tell it what we did. And now we're on version 1.1. .1. So from my script, it says hello world, today is, and then it didn't print the date. It's weird. Why didn't it do that? I have now equals date, and then I went down here and I echoed out dollar date. Oh, hey, that's why it didn't work. I didn't put the right variable name. It happens all the time. Uh, so now that I'm using the correct variable name, if I run it, it says, oh, hey, hello, world. Today is Mon, February 11th, 110236 Eastern Standard Time, 2019. So that's how we're going to uh, start out using, using commands inside uh, a script. Like I said, if you just wanted to do the thing you wanted to do, just put the command in there. If you want to save the output into a variable, we need to use this, the back ticks to save it. When we write to the variable, we don't put a dollar sign. When we reference the variable, we do put a dollar sign. 
So that is uh, pretty much what we need to know this module about scripting.